morning, everybody. Thanks for coming to the Warren Committee meeting tonight. Um, happy to see you all. I have a feeling that we're going to have a relatively short meeting. We just need to vote uh, the changes in the warrant that I sent out to you. Uh, so we're going to fly through that, and um, then we need to talk about uh, potential authorization of the chair for reserve fund transfer withdrawal or approvals, and then the upcoming schedule. Um, is there anything else that folks wanted to go through tonight? If not, may we start with um, a motion for approval of the minutes for March 20? Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes for March 20th. Second. Thanks, Betty. Any discussion on the minutes? All right. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thanks very much. Richard, is your hand up, I assume? Thank you. Unanimous with Richard. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm going to skip down to the warrant on the agenda, and um, we will run through the changes. Um, in terms of the highlighting, the, the various colors of highlighting reference different uh, versions of the warrant, but you have seen all of the changes um, that are in here. The, it's just the pinks that I'm going to leave uh, because the pinks are what the uh, printer needs to act <coughs> upon. So as we run through it, I'm going to try to um, remove the um, changes that we do not need to vote tonight. Um, get down to where the action is down here. There was a lot of change in the letter from the Warren Committee or the report of the Warren Committee. Just uh, some small numbers from um, <clears throat> from town accountant and these two numbers came in yesterday or today and I don't know that you've seen them yet. Um, the amount of increase went down from the 700s to $630 based on new information um, from our town accountant and our um, tax collector. So they, they got me um, a, a revised levy number and this revised increase over time which is now $630. So I just wanted to point that out to you, and I'll send that to the, uh, to the printer tomorrow. OK. Oops. So while I'm scrolling for a minute, I have a question for folks. I'm going to send this to the warrant to the printer with uh, the changes that are voted tonight. And our next meeting would be next Wednesday, which is April 5th, uh, because this needs to be printed um, on the 7th. And so the printer is going to produce a proof, which I'll circulate to everybody. But if a mistake is caught between now and the 7th, we would have to have a meeting next Wednesday to vote. Uh, something to change. I'm wondering how folks feel about me making very small changes. I can't, you know, send out a group email and say, is it okay for me to change this because we can't have a discussion outside of an open meeting. But if you would be comfortable with me making sort of immaterial or inconsequential changes, um, say to, you know, a number before fiscal year 18 or a typo correction or something like that, and holding and, and allowing it to go to print and then holding the vote until April 26th, that almost assuredly would help us avoid getting together next Wednesday. Um, but I would understand if folks wanted to meet in person to vote anything before I approved the change to the printer. So let me know what you think about that while I look for our first voting change. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. As long as it's not material and a knit, as I like to call it, knits okay. and gnats, yeah. please feel free to correct them. Okay. All right. Anybody um, have an, a different opinion other than that? Okay. So Article 10, I needed to add the word and. Um, maybe for Julia's sake, we could have one person that makes uh, the motions to approve as amended and one person who seconds it. Um, Jim, would you mind making the motions to approve as amended? Sure. And who wants the second? Great. <laughs> okay. So Article 10, I needed to add the word and here. I'd like to make a, a motion to approve Article 10 as amended. Recommendation. Thanks. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Uh, unanimous. Thank you. Okay. Um, 
Article 11, we don't need to vote this because it, but take that coloring out. There was a change down here. So Article 11 recommendation, there was a rounding error of a dollar. <laughs> so uh, we need to reapprove Article 12. No, 11, I'm sorry. Like to make a motion to approve the recommendation for Article 11 as amended. Second. All, any discussion? All those in favor? It is unanimous. Thank you. Okay. Um, Article 13, small change to fiscal year 17 appropriation. There was an error here. It's been corrected. 13. Like to make a motion to approve. I'm going to go back. It's this number right here that changed. Make a motion to approve Article 13 recommendation as amended. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you very much. I thought you were asking a question. All right. So here's some discussion that we need to have. Article 14, I sent this out to everybody to consider. Based on, well, actually, just in, in reviewing the warrant myself last week, it occurred to me that we hadn't identified who would appoint the fire station building committee and how long it would be in existence. So I had a powwow with John Flynn and the town moderator and uh, Katie has recused herself from this one. So I talked briefly with um, Selectman Burns and um, said, you know, who, who has an opinion about this? The town moderator was fine with the Board of Selectmen being the appointing authority. The town council has no preference. He said legally it doesn't matter if it's the Selectmen or the um, moderator. And he gave some examples of past committees like this that have been appointed by the Board of Selectmen and, and past ones that have been appointed by the town moderator. So nobody seemed to have any preference. So I chose the Board of Selectmen since the fire department reports up through them. Um, but I'm open to other suggestions. So the um, the way that the um, that it reads right now, with some with some wording stolen from the town government study committee and also from the legislative committee, which is reauthorized annually, uh, and I figured this one could be reauthorized annually until it isn't needed anymore. <clears throat> it now says recommended the town vote to authorize the board of selectmen to appoint a fire station building committee consisting of five members, the members of such committee to hold office until the next until the final adjournment of the next annual town meeting and until the appointment of any succeeding committee authorized at such meeting. Now, uh, and Katie recommended we make these two changes uh, to the paragraph. It, it used to say um, and something, but she, she thought we should say and further recommended that the town vote and it is further recommended that to begin um, to make it match more closely the other uh, recommendations. Any concerns or questions about that? I'd like to make a motion for Article 14 recommendation as amended. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I have to remove that. Okay, Article 15, uh, there's a bunch of them that are like this. I had to add the word that. I'm sorry that I missed it in my first go around, but that's the only change. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 15 recommendation as amended. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Okay, it's unanimous. Um, Article 16, we don't have to vote because we changed this last week. I was just showing the reordering was done. Um, Article 17 was reordered, but there was a change to this fiscal year 16 number for information technology. And these totals uh, due to rounding for a board of selectmen, um, which changed the bottom number under 16. So it was only historic numbers that had some typos. Do you have a question, Richard? No, it's here. OK. Um, okay, so to fix those historic numbers, I'd appreciate a motion on Article 17. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 17 recommendation as amended. Any discussion? 
All those in favor? Is unanimous. Thank you. Okay. Um, Michael's not here, but I think he wrote this. Um, he wrote this comment. I just wanted to say that I had uh, just talked with the town clerk, and um, she clarified that uh, the, the comment used to imply that the increase um, was uh, all since the opening of the, of the hospice and Quincy Hospital. It was actually over these four years that it increased 100%. So I just put the, the years in, um, into the comment. <clears throat> and then... Which, which article is that one? 17. 17. Comment was 17. Yes. Okay, this is article 18, no changes there. We've already discussed the ones in blue. Okay, um, we don't need to vote this comment change, but um, you all saw, I think, that I added um, this exchange of the Director of Consolidated Facilities for the Superintendent of Schools or Designee. Um, Joe picked that up when the department heads were asked to review. of the comment by accident. Okay, so for Article 24, for stormwater, there was a slight amount where this adjusted by uh, because of the date of which the bonding will be done. So the, um, the uh, indirect, or the debt service, excuse me, the debt service had to be adjusted which slightly, which changed all the numbers. So I do need um, a, re a recommendation for the revised, or excuse me, you know what I need. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion for Article 24 recommendation as amended. Sorry. That's what I want. Any discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Great. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Um, okay. So for Article 25, it's one of those ones where I missed a semicolon and an and. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 25 recommendation as amended. Sorry. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you very much. And I moved this reference to Mass General Laws before Chapter 90 as opposed to after it to make it a little more grammatical. Um, we already, oh, we didn't vote this yet. So Article 27 um, had an error in it with the 800,000. I think it used to say 500,000, um, but that was wrong. So it's been corrected. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 27 recommendation as amended. All those in favor? Uh, unanimous, thank you. Okay, Article 29, I missed this word that. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion uh, to approve Article 29 recommendation as amended. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous? Okay. And then in the comment, um, I, I uh, sent this around. Um, Maggie responded, I think. But I added this paragraph uh, based on a discussion that I had with Tom Hurley, uh, just to clarify that we're not increasing the, um, or we're not recommending an increase to the override or uh, contingent budget in order to fund this uh, roadway stabilization fund at this time. But a future warrant committee could make that recommendation. Um, the only deposit we would make would, in our recommendation would come from free cash in the contingent budget. So I clarified that. Okay, Article 31, I missed the word that. Is there anything you miss other than that? Yeah, there was a few. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you have a sweeping motion for incision of the To all that. We're almost done. I know. <laughs> I, know. I, know. No, I find it amazing. I don't know about the rest of the people. Pretty good. Uh, I'm embarrassed because I should have picked all those up. But 31. 31. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 31 recommendation as amended. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Okay. There's historic numbers here for Article 33 for the library that were adjusted. Um, something in the general expense changed, which changed the bottom number for fiscal year 17. I'd appreciate a motion on that. 
Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 33 recommend recommendation as amended. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you, unanimous. Um, and you all saw the, uh, the, the uh, comment that was circulated. I don't think anybody had any comments or changes to that. Um, the cemetery asked us to move where their cut in the non-contingent went. So instead of having some of it come from salaries and wages, it all comes from general expenses now. And uh, that was as a result of a um, trustee meeting that they had last week. So I move that for them. And if you agree, I would take a motion to approve 34. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 34, recommendation as amended. Second. Uh, discussion. All those in favor? Unanimous? I think. Um, I had a misspelling here in the comment. Gun Hill had two ends. I thought it had two ends, but it has one, so I'll fix that with the printer. It's not italicized either. Say it again. It's should it be italicized? <coughs> Isn't the comments all italicized? Oh yeah, uh, that was a separate um, change that I submitted to the. Um, okay. Yep, the entire comment is incorrectly not italicized, but I did submit that to them too. One of the department heads caught that. I can't remember who it was. Um, I spelled out what ACE meant in two places, artistic creative enhancement. Um, add an necessary to S to Blue Hills. And we need to talk about this for a minute. So we had a lot of discussion at our last meeting about how um, the contingent recommendation for consolidated facilities would be worded because it requires less free cash than the non-contingent. And the way the whole warrant is set up, uh, the table didn't really work for that. So um, you'll remember that with Glenn's help, we changed some of the numbers in the paragraph here, which all ended up being correct. But, but then it didn't look great in the table. So um, Upon discussion with uh, town council, he recommended that, that we change the table a little bit to, um, to reflect what the final contingent recommendation total would be. And um, that better matches this language, which we had already been using down here, which said, um, in the event of such approval for a contingent, the foregoing non-contingent appropriation shall have no effect and the contingent appropriation of 1164862 shall be the appropriation under this article. With the exception of um, unemployment, which you'll recall is, has a higher non-contingent than contingent, all other tables, you have to add the non-contingent column and the contingent column to get the full contingent request. That's the way that it's done, because when, when the uh, when town meeting approves the contingent budget, they're really approving both budgets at the same time. You add them together. So these two are slightly different, and the wording needed to be different. And it might require explanation at town meeting um, if somebody picks up on it. And John is ready to address that. But in any case, I just changed the numbers in the table to reflect the paragraph that we had agreed to last week. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 38 recommendation as amended. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. It's unanimous. <clears throat> I missed a that in Article 41. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 41 recommendation as amended. Second. All those in favor? It's unanimous. Who should have been counting the facts? <laughs> it was Katie that caught all these. Okay, so. We need a little discussion about Article 44. Lots of color. This almost assuredly will require a pink sheet at town meeting. Uh, I talked about it ad nauseum with town council. We got to what we think is the best um, solution with the information that we have right now. The, the problem is that, and let me just go to the comment, which clearly explains it. <clears throat> All right, the comment says, Part A of this recommendation creates, by bylaw, revolving funds which already exist, or in the case of revolving funds numbered 9 and 10, which are recommended to be established in Articles 45 and 50 of this warrant. 
Part B of this recommendation reauthorizes our use of existing revolving funds and sets annual withdrawal limits. No withdrawal limit changes are recommended from last year's warrant. Parts A and B of this recommendation appear redundant and are intentionally worded to satisfy an unclear component of the Municipal Modernization Act, which requires new revolving funds to be established by bylaw, but does not address to any such requirement for existing revolving funds. The Warrant Committee recommends erring on the side of caution and preemptively recreating existing revolving funds by bylaw. So this is the recommendation of Town Council. Because these already exist and the Municipal Modernization Act leaves it unclear whether or not you have to retroactively approve them to save from having to call a special town meeting or not be able to use these revolving funds if it's resolved by the state legislature after our town meeting happens, he said that this would be the safest thing to do and really has no material change but just reauthorizes them by bylaw. Does anybody have any concerns or questions about that? So I just have a yep. comment. So the Municipal Modernization Act, that didn't take effect until 2016. So these were, you're saying, already existing prior to that. Yeah. So that's the reason to make sure. That's, that's right. pretty smart. So this is on a long list, apparently, of things that the state legislature has to fix of unintended consequences due to the Municipal Modernization Act. And it's assumed that it will eventually get addressed, but there's no guarantee, nor do we know when they'll do it. They could do it by town meeting, but uh, it's unlikely. Okay, so uh, are there any other questions or concerns about how we've rewritten the recommendation for Article 44 in two parts? Do you think maybe adding, you know, of 2016, if someone's reading it, they'll realize that this act is something very recent that might make it clearer to someone? Let's see. Is it, is it actually 2016? Mm -hmm. So it was signed in 2016, August 9th. When did it come in effect? Because Municipal Modernization Act is not its real name either. I think this is a, an act to modernize municipal finance and government. I'm wondering if some of it comes into, uh, but yeah, I can add 2016. It seems like that that's pretty easy to do. All right, so um, the Municipal Modernization Act of 2016 Okay. Uh, any other discussion, concerns, or changes to Article 44? I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 44 recommendation as amended. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Article 45. I missed a that and I missed an and. <laughs> and uh, our town attorney wanted us to add to the two new revolving funds that we just referenced in that previous article, this sentence at the end that says, the text of the proposed bylaw is included in the recommendation for Article 44. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 45 recommendation as amended. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Okay, Article 46, I missed a that. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 46 recommendation as amended. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you, unanimous. Okay, so you'll recall that when Katie was here last time, she pointed out that she thought that this um, recommendation for the reauthorization of a liquor license at 2 Adams Street was missing this reference to um, the bylaw, which might, which she thought might be required, and so um, town attorney, uh, town council sent us um, this act language and uh, stuck it in here. So uh, there is no change in the recommendation uh, materially, but we do reference now the um, uh, the language that's necessary in here. 
sorry, I'm starting to lose my train of thought. Article 47. <laughs> I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 47 recommendation as amended. Second. All those in uh, discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous? Okay. <clears throat> I should have had another starburst, I guess. Okay. Um, the marijuana, which one is this? 48. 48. I missed uh, that. And <coughs> I think it might have been, oh no, that's the next one. I just missed that. Um, I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 48 recommendation as amended. Second. Discussion. All those in favor? <coughs> Unanimous? Somebody has to remind Brian next year to include all those that's. Okay, so for Article 50, same deal, revolving fund, um, I missed of that, and then we need to add uh, this sentence to the end per town council. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 50 recommendation as amended. Second. Discussion. All those in favor? It is unanimous. Fifty one, I missed of that. And I think this one is missing another word somewhere else. Oh. <clears throat> I missed this word or uh, town council anyway, recommended we insert this word into uh, to make the sentence a little more clear. And then on previous uh, versions of this that I had sent out. For some reason, my numeration uh, was sort of continuous, so a lot of these letters uh, or Roman numerals had an X in front of them, and that was accidental. So I have restarted the numeration on all of them the way that they appeared in the um, article itself. So fixed the numeration, inserted the word into, and then added the at. I added the that, excuse me. This is article 51. Yeah. Like to make a motion to approve uh, Article 51 recommendation as amended. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Great. Sorry, I was trying to get back to the top, but I'm hopelessly scrolling. So Article 52, I think, has something similar. <clears throat> So for the most part, if, if we catch anything else small, like a vat or whatever, I will make those changes for the printer next week. I'll save them all. I'll probably, I'll send them out so that you know that I'm making them. And then we can discuss them and officially vote them uh, at the end of the month, unless something big comes up and we need to get together next week. And I will let you know uh, as soon as I can. Okay, so for 52, oh, even Katie missed the that. Maybe the that here. Need the word that. Make this something different. Okay, and then. Nothing else. That's it. Just the that, and then the ed off of the comment. I'd like to make a motion to approve Article 52 recommendation as amended. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous? Mm -hmm. And Steve walked in right now. <laughs> <laughs> he can make the motion. <clears throat> um, okay. So that completes our review of the warrant, uh, which, as you can see, is in fairly good shape now. So I will send these changes to the printer tomorrow. The printer will produce the proof within the next couple of days. We'll have less than a week to review that proof, um, but hopefully nothing else will be caught. What we discussed is if I catch something immaterial, Steve, I won't require us to have a meeting next Wednesday night to make that change with the printer. But if there is something big that requires a recommendation change, then I'll call us together next Wednesday so that um, we can vote that change before the printer prints it. Otherwise, I'll just send out the changes, track them, and we'll re-vote them after the warrant is printed at the end of the month. So the, um, the next two dates that we have holding are April 5th, and um, Julia and I will post a meeting for that night and probably cancel it on Monday. Um, and then I anticipate the next time we'll, we'll actually meet will be on 426. If 
nothing needs to be changed in the warrant, we probably won't have to meet that night. But that Article 44 is sticking out as something that might require a pink sheet. So if we need to do a pink sheet on something or anything else comes up, 426 is probably the night that we would do that. <clears throat> then we have town meeting nights, which I emailed everybody about. The, uh, you want me to point out now that um, this, if we don't meet next Wednesday night, this will be the last meeting for Betty White as a warrant committee oh, member. No. She served for three years. This is her second uh, term with, for a total uh, serving of six years on the warrant committee. Right. Thank you very much, Betty. We appreciate you. <laughs> we wish you the best of luck on the school committee. And uh, some of these folks will see you next year as you come around sitting on that side of the table. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Um, so if we have to do a pink sheet or a different change, it'll be on 426. And then the meeting nights of town meeting, folks should plan on a pre-meeting uh, and, and getting there, please, for any required votes um, on May 1st, 2nd, 4th, 8th, and 9th, starting at 7 p.m. Julia booked the room at the, at the high school, which is the teacher's lounge. It's down the stairs, past the auditorium, and, and down the hall a little bit on the right. It's, it's uh, sort of in front of and next to the cafeteria. And... Uh, we can include some directions when we send that out. 104. It's room 104? OK, great. Thank you very much, room 104. Um, all right, so only two other things that I wanted to discuss. <clears throat> Authorization of chair for reserve fund transfer approvals. This is something that the Warrant Committee has done in the past to avoid meetings during April and May and June that might not be necessary. This warrant committee technically is in service until the last day of June. The um, fiscal year starts over again on July 1st. I think technically there is no warrant committee from July 1st until the um, town moderator appoints one no later than July 15th. Um, but in the event that a standard uh, or expected reserve fund transfer comes in and you don't want to have to have a meeting to approve it, the chair could approve it. This, um, so in the past, Somebody has made a motion to authorize the chair to approve reserve fund transfers through the end of the fiscal year um, without requiring approval or meeting of the Warrant Committee. If you are so inclined to want to do that again, I'd be happy uh, to take on that responsibility. If you do want to review them, I can get you together. Or if there was something very large and unexpected, besides maybe Hendry's, which is large and we, it is expected. If there was something that was large and unexpected, I, I would call a meeting. Maggie. Are we able to, do we get a copy of whatever was approved while? Sure. So I can send it out real time. We just can't discuss it via email. Right. I, I make a motion to approve um, Lee Michael. Our, it, what let's is, do the chair just in case. So authorize the chair. I make a motion to authorize the chair. To approve reserve funds. To approve fund the reserve fund transfers. transfers. <laughs> um, Second. Thanks. Any discussion about that? Do we want to set a yeah. ceiling? Okay. Sure. Yep. I, do we want to make an exception? Because I do agree if it's a huge amount, it's a surprise. We should get to be called. Absolutely. So yeah. similar comment, a ceiling. Yeah. Do, what, what do you want the ceiling to be? How much is in there? <laughs> oh, that's well, a good question. Well, the, the part that we have purview <coughs> over that isn't Hendry's related is like $250,000. <coughs> we appropriated some of it already for the um, town administrator. So it's less than that, but in that neighborhood. Just at 75. We did from 75. Would you take a friendly amendment, Maggie, for $75,000? Yes. So to, ap to approve reserve fund transfers and amounts up to $75,000? Yeah. Would you second that second. still? Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Um, all those opposed? All those abstaining? One abstaining? Great. Thanks very much. Um, okay, and I just wanted to get your um, opinion about something. I've had a lot of questions recently about uh, pending override talks and a grassroots effort growing up around supporting an override, and folks have requested spreadsheets from me to see numbers so that they can start planning and whatnot, and it's all public documents, so I'm providing that all. I was wondering how folks felt about me also submitting a letter substantially similar to the report of the Warrant Committee that's in the front of the, the warrant, but with probably many less numbers and, and shorter and less detail. But just summarizing essentially what our recommendation was and um, how, how, what is included in the contingent budget and what's included in the non-contingent budget. So again, it would be very similar to that. But 
I wanted to get your feedback about how you felt about me putting an article out there, uh, even if it's under my name, you know, and it, and it came from the report of the Warren Committee. So as an example, earlier this year and last year, I released a letter through the Milton scene, and then I had um, our town clerk send it out to all town meeting members for whom she had email addresses and it itemized our meeting dates and what articles we were talking about that were non-budgetary uh, and gave a brief sort of history of, of um, uh, or it, at least it gave background of how the Warrant Committee operates. So I envision that this would be substantially similar, but it would be about our recommendation for the contingent budget to give people some more information about what's out there. Um, so let's have a quick discussion about that. How do people feel? Yep. If you just drafted <coughs> some report of that sort and just posted it to the website for the Warrant Committee, it would just be a summary of what we've done and then other people can just post to the, rather than you sending something out specifically. I could do that. Um, are you comfortable with me skinnying down the report and posting it without us discussing it at a meeting? Yeah, I, it's the same report, but it's just abridged. Yeah. Others, yep. I like the idea of putting it on the website and, uh, and skinning it down, as you call it. Okay. Uh, making a synopsis, essentially. All right. Any concerns? So that would mean that like <clears throat> people from the Milton Times or the Milton scene could get Just it from get there it. Yeah. and put it on their, That's true. Right. On right. their particular paper. Yeah, and I think I'd still encourage town clerk to email it out to everybody. Yeah. Russian hackers? <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments or concerns about that? No. All right, well, please continue to hold April 5th, and hopefully we won't have a meeting that night. I'll cancel it as soon as it becomes apparent that we don't need it, and um, we'll probably have a meeting on 426. And uh, thanks, Betty, for everything. Does Thank anybody have any other questions or concerns before we adjourn this evening? Maggie? Nothing to do with our committee. Just j maybe someone can answer this. I, I know there's two other meetings, like there's the personnel and there's also another board meeting, I think, um, town government study. We're on TV and a lot of other certain committees are on TV. Who decides which ones get aired on the public access? Oh. <laughs> are they only the, because of the open meeting laws? Like, I'll give you an example, the Capital Improvement Committee. And... Uh, maybe the even now the the traffic commission that's such an issue does anyone else feel they'd like to be able to have access to see what's actually happening it's the it's the board of Milton access TV that decides oh. what gets recorded there are no and mass general laws stating no. oh okay anybody can show up at any open meeting and record it uh, as long as they're not interrupting with the permission of the chair and the chair can't decline an invitation as long as somebody is not interrupting the meeting but in terms of recording and broadcasting, the Milton Access TV board spends money to, to record them. So they base their decision upon what people express interest in. Oh, so okay. for several years, they say that they got many, many requests to have warrant committee meetings recorded and broadcast because people were interested in them. But maybe they just don't have the level of request or they don't have the funding available to, to record other meetings that you're interested in. But you could contact them. Maybe I'll them. ask someone to do a poll on <clears throat> one of the neighbor's sites. Sure. Because I think maybe at a lot of other people, when you're making decisions for the warrant, and we're talking about so many different things, Maybe it's just me. My curiosity is that maybe I'm going to check out another committee's meeting and see yeah. why they feel a certain way. I think they lend so much more, um, I don't know, background information by watching why a member wants something or why someone doesn't as opposed to the minutes. And the agenda and the minutes, some of them aren't until last year if I went to go check on some <laughs> of the committees. So <clears throat> the information I'm looking for is now relevant, not from last year. You know? We recruit you to run the board for some of the meetings. Because <laughs> they need to have people cover them too. Oh, could I? Um, I wanted to just get clarification on something quickly. So we agreed to a ceiling of $75,000. So if the Hendry's request for MBTA um, diversion, um, which we're expecting, comes in above 75000 you want me to call a meeting to approve that yeah. as well? I would. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, I, I was just saying, I thought, I thought it was. Yeah. Except, Ex expect, unexpected. Yeah, yeah, except for that, because right. we kind of know that's coming. I just wanted to make sure. 
All right, so then I'm, I'm not going to call a meeting if it's a, a reasonable amount that we're expecting for the Except Hendry's. Except I, would, I thought it was anything but Hendry's. Well, that is Hendry's. That is Hendry's. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm expecting one from Cemetery, oh. which is going to be very small. Okay. And, oh, I'm sorry, I meant to say, we had asked them to hold off on approval of that to see if they could save some money. They did indeed find some money to save, so they're reducing the reserve fund transfer request for at least the um, stormwater fee. So they haven't been able to reduce the, the salaries one, but the stormwater fee, I think, is going to come in, in by half. <clears throat> um, all right, that's it. Yes, Chuck? I have a motion to adjourn. Second. Thanks. All those in favor? Good night, everyone.